Shanti McKellar, and I'm a United States Navy veteran. First, I want to just say greetings to all of our elected officials who are joining us and in the citywide um, uh, officials as well. And I just want to say to all of the Bronxites, thank you all for being a part of this uh, wonderful committee meeting. Done. I mean, we did something extraordinary in the midst of the pandemic. We've actually had six meetings. We were able to provide testimony for the Benida uh, um, um, landmarks, and we were able to also provide testimony for what they wanted to build in the Mott Haven on Alexander Avenue. So here's just the rear. Uh, we're looking at Leggett Avenue, right? Um, but this was the rear of the SB White House. And just giving you an idea, of the land formation here. This is near uh, Southern Boulevard. Uh, Southern Boulevard was, uh, it, it's, it's one of the oldest uh, major thoroughfares in the Bronx. Ah, this is Edmund Amatis, and he's one of my favorites. Um, he's a legacy artist. He's also a veteran. Um, he has done countless pieces, but he's known for his friezes which you can clearly see with our doors. So uh, the Tree of Life door, which is um, off the side where you see the gazelles, you'll also see some gazelle pieces. And those are very similar to Syrian art. You'll see him working on these large friezes off to the side in uh, the American artist um, picture there. He was into the squash perspective. You'll see that with a few of the animals. I believe he's the artist behind all of those. But one piece that we have that's signed and one of the few pieces that's signed is his, and it's a girl with the dog. In the 80s, uh, one of the big things was flyers, lead jackets. So imagery, graffiti imagery was always part of that underground, because you want them to be flashy. You always wanted your, your, your flies to be more flashier than someone else's. You want your, your dressing to look more flashy. So it was always about outshining moments. Hip hop is very competitive. That's what it's about. Turns out the first urban renewal for this area had been proposed during the Roosevelt administration. The section of the Bronx, um, as it began, was one of the most, was the most rapidly urbanized area in the United States. Um, because with the construction of the subway lines, this borough that had been large estates and farms was rapidly transformed into urban communities supporting businesses in Manhattan. This is one of the places that um, wasn't in, in any guidebooks. Um, it wasn't really known about very much. And it is one of the oldest buildings in the borough. Uh, it's in Longwood, um, and it's the uh, Denison White House, um, which is the front of the Cedars, which is a apartment complex, um, resident complex for grand families, which is a really amazing, beautiful story. And so this building has been around since before the Civil War. Before, nobody wanted to buy guitar. They didn't want to spend money on guitar. They didn't want to spend money on a domino table with a domino cell and things like that because you know that money they could use for you know spending it out in the street and things like that now they are obligated to stay home <laughs> you know they have nothing to do so everybody now wants to be a musician <laughs> 